Imagine turning on your PC and seeing a desktop so stunning that you pause for a moment, not clicking anything, just admiring what's in front of you. That was my experience with what I can confidently call the most beautiful Linux distribution I've ever used. I'm talking about an operating system that doesn't just work well, but feels like art. Something handcrafted with passion, detail, texture, elegance, and soul. When the system booted for the first time, the login screen faded in with a calm glow behind it. Every pixel so balanced that it felt premium instantly. I wasn't staring at a typical Linux UI, crowded with elements or thrown together. No. This felt polished. Like stepping inside a futuristic luxury workspace designed for creativity and comfort. The wallpaper was breathtaking. Soft gradients flowing into each other like a sunrise melting into clouds. The dock sat perfectly centered at the bottom, reflecting subtle translucency like frosted glass. Even the cursor moved like silk. For a second, I honestly forgot this was free, open-source software. And when the desktop finally appeared, I literally felt excitement. The icons weren't stock or generic. Each one looked carefully drawn. Modern, glossy, but not flashy. Visually satisfying like high-end app icon packs people pay money for. Every element spoke the same visual language. Everything felt alive. It wasn't trying to copy Mac OS or Windows. It had its own identity stylish and confident, and using it felt like stepping into a premium studio where creativity is encouraged. I started exploring the system settings, and the experience just kept getting better. No clutter, no endless confusing menus, everything organized cleanly and beautifully. You know how some distros give you power, but also overwhelm you with a thousand toggles scattered everywhere? This wasn't like that. It respected minimalism while still offering deep customization if you wanted it. I changed the theme, and it transformed instantly. Dark Moji wasn't tea, just dark. It was smooth charcoal, with accent colors glowing softly like neon reflections in a rainy cyberpunk street. It made the entire system look cinematic. Even switching wallpapers felt beautiful. The transition animations buttery smooth, windows sliding with gentle motion like pages turning in a book. I opened the file manager, and that was another moment where I just stopped and admired transparent sidebar, blurred windows, elegant folder icons, subtle shadows, Every detail polished like a modern mobile OS, but designed for desktops. Scrolling was fluid, no lag, even on mid-range hardware. It gave me this surprising realization. Beauty doesn't have to sacrifice performance. It felt light, responsive, fast, like driving a sports car that's also comfortable. I launched a few apps. The terminal opened instantly, and to my surprise, even that looked beautiful. Transparent background, crisp fonts, customizable themes, but the default one already looked perfect. Typing commands felt like writing poetry in code. The software store was clean and modern. App cards displayed clearly with screenshots, descriptions, and ratings organized in a way that didn't feel like a warehouse of packages, but more like browsing a curated gallery. I installed themes, icon packs, even extra desktop effects, and nothing broke. No weird crashes, no glitchy visuals, Everything blended naturally as if the system was designed with customization in mind, instead of treating it like an afterthought. It gave me freedom not just to work, but to express myself. And that's something most operating systems miss. This distro wasn't a just a tool. It felt like a blank canvas. I opened multiple windows, dragged them, snapped them to edges, and the animations felt luxurious. No harsh jumps. Everything moved with tension and released like motion design in premium UI concepts. Shadows under windows added depth like layers floating above a desk. It didn't feel flat and lifeless. It felt dimensional. And when I minimized windows, they gently dissolved into the dock instead of disappearing abruptly. These small details matter more than we think. When an operating system feels pleasant and satisfying, you want to use it longer. You feel motivated to create, to write, to code, to edit videos, to design graphics, to work. A beautiful workspace inspires productivity. And beauty aside, performance was surprisingly solid. Fast boot Chimi apps launching instantly. Smooth multitasking. Even when I opened browsers with multiple tabs, video playback, terminal windows and music running in the background, it handled everything with grace. No fans screaming, no slowdowns. It felt optimized and balanced. That's when it clicked for me. An OS can be fast, stable, customizable, and also visually stunning. You don't have to choose one. You can have all of it in one place without paying a cent. I know some people think Linux equals complicated commands, broken drivers, ugly UI, 
but that stereotype is fading fast. This distro proves that Linux can be modern, elegant, user-friendly, and more visually impressive than Windows or macOS. It's the kind of system you show to your friends when they say Linux looks boring and watch their jaw drop. You can literally see the reaction change from doubts to curiosity. They start asking, can I install this? Will it work on my laptop? And the answer is usually yes. And the best part is, the open source nature means you own your system. No forced updates, no telemetry, no blow tracking you, no unnecessary processes eating RAM behind your back. Just freedom, speed, beauty. The more I used it, the more attached I became. It always felt like a place I enjoyed being in, not just a tool I had to tolerate. And that feeling is rare. You start customizing your dock icons, choosing wallpapers that fit your personality, adjusting transparency levels, maybe adding a global menu or widgets like weather, calendar, system monitor. You slowly shape your digital environment until it matches your style. It becomes yours. Personal, unique, not something pre-designed for millions of users with identical layouts, but something crafted for you. And every time you boot up, it feels like home. I opened my browser and even the scrolling felt fluid. Latency low, videos played crisp, keyboard shortcuts smooth, trackpad gestures intuitive, the design language consistent across apps, no random window with ugly icons or mismatched theme colors, everything harmonious. And this harmony is what makes you forget you're using Linux. It feels like something premium, like a top tier OS designed by a team with a vision. And yet it's built by a community who loves technology, design, and freedom. As I used it more, I installed creative tools, editors, IDs, design apps. Everything worked flawlessly. For gaming, Proton made Steam titles run surprisingly well. For coding, VS Code looked beautiful inside the themed window. For productivity, the system stayed stable even after hours of uptime. I realized I wasn't just appreciating visuals anymore. I was using the OS daily and it never annoyed me. It didn't fight me, it cooperated. It supported my workflow. And that's why I believe beauty matters in an operating system. We spend hours on computers. Why not enjoy the environment we work in? Why settle for dull when we can live in digital art? I started thinking about how many people might fall in love with Linux if they saw this. Windows users tired of ads and telemetry. Mac OS users tired of hardware lock-in. Creators wanting a workspace that inspires. Students wanting something smooth and fresh. Developers wanting control. This distro welcomes all. Not with complexity, but with beauty and simplicity. It's the first Linux distro I installed that made me say out loud, I don't want to switch away from this. And that's powerful. So if you've been searching for a Linux distribution that feels like future tech, that is lightweight but luxurious, minimal but full of personality, smooth but powerful, beautiful but functional, then this might be the one, not just the most beautiful Linux distro visually, but the most emotionally satisfying one I've used. It's not just software, it's an experience. And I think you'll be as surprised as I was that something this gorgeous exists for free.